Okay, my second video of the day today is going to be about Windows Vista and your processor in your computer. So, here we go. Now, there's the dual core, the quad core, and the solo core right now. Solo is one, dual is two, and quad is four, if you don't know that. Now, I have actually three laptops right now, and two of which are dual cores, and the other, way, the other one is a solo core, Pentium M. The one I'm on now is my pavilion, and this is AMD Curion 64X2. I'll open up system uh, properties here so you can you can see there it is 64x2 that just means two cores or dual core TL60 at both cores operating at about 2 gigahertz so I suppose that's a pretty good processor Vista sees it as a 4.8 which isn't that bad so anyways if you're using Windows Vista in a solo core I would recommend personally upgrading to a dual core because the solo core really isn't as powerful. Now I've got a Dell Dimension E510 desktop upstairs and it's Pentium Pentium 4 at 3 gigahertz and it's a solo core and it's only rated a 4.2 but that's fine. I mean you have a you have a, a, a higher clock speed like 2.8 gigahertz or over in a solo core I wouldn't worry about it. But the dual core I do highly recommend upgrading to that. I noticed a tremendous difference. Now let's go into the cache. Cache of a processor is what the process the processor does before it actually uses it. Like I'll cache the start menu right there. The, da the data in the start menu has been cached to a file right now, probably temp. So the next time I open that file, the uh, next time I open the start menu, it doesn't have to go and see what I have in the start menu. It's already there, so it doesn't have to do it again. On processors, there's a couple meg cache. Like this one, on each core, I have a half a megabyte, which isn't the best. I don't know why AMD does that. I'm not really an AMD fan. Now my ThinkPad, I've got a, I've got a uh, Z61T, and on each core, in, it's Intel Centrino Duo T2500. On each core, I believe I have a, a meg or two meg cache. On each core, I think it's a meg. So that's a two meg cache, and that's what most of them are. Now the newer ThinkPads, like a T61 or a or a, um, the X300, I think those are available in 2, 6, and maybe 8 meg caches, which are pretty big. So if you have over 512K combined cores or together, that's fine. Now let's go into clock speed. Clock speed is the speed of your processor in megahertz or gigahertz or terahertz, but I don't really think that's around and popular yet. So, my clock speed, as I recently said, is 2 gigahertz on each core. And a gigahertz refers to a billion events per second. So I have 2 billion events per second on each core. 2 times 2 is 4, so I can do about 4 billion events per second. Don't ask me what an event is, go Google that. Now my ThinkPad, it's 2 cores of 2 gigahertz, and it'll do the same thing for... It's rated a uh, 4.7 on the Vista Experience Index. I've only got 2 gig of RAM on that computer. But anyways, that's enough. So I have four over here in my pavilion. But if you have over about one gigahertz per core, you're fine. Now if you've got a solo core and you're trying to run Vista, then I would say you're going to want about 1.7 gigahertz minimum. Now I know Windows says 900 megahertz, which is point, there's 1,024 megahertz in a gigahertz. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I'm pretty sure I'm right with that. But, um, you don't want to run Windows off 900 megahertz. I mean, you can see my processors on 47%, 62%, 63%, but that's because I'm recording what's on the screen right now, and I suppose it's working fairly hard. Like my ThinkPad is over here on, to the right on 0%. That's a nice processor. But then my HP Compact NC8230, it's a couple years old. It's Pentium 4M, I believe. It's a solo core of 1.86 gigahertz. And boy, do I see a difference between my Pavilion and ThinkPad and the uh, NC8230 with processor speed. It's rated at 3.8, the NC8230. So definitely a dual core, I'd say, with Vista. 
and you at least want about 1.6 or 7 gigahertz per core. Again, with a solo core, I'd say you're going to want 1.7 at least. I mean, you can run it on less, but you're not. You're gonna. It's going to be awful. I'm trying to open Firefox and uploading to YouTube as I am at the moment. My other video. It's my second today. But so hopefully that'll help you out. Vista is a resource hog. It's going to use more RAM than processor, but it could be worse. So look at it positively. Thanks for watching.